From what I understand, your work is based around using sound as an aesthetic tool to examine and present scientific data. So can you talk about why sound is so important to your work and how you are using sound in your projects? Hmm. Well, um, that's one of the things I've been doing uh, for uh, quite a few years, and um, it's uh, actually has a name. Uh, it's called sonification. And uh, it's the translation of data, numerical data, usually scientific data, into sound. And I got into that um, because, well, I first got into sound because I had actually been studying painting. Mm. And I was studying um, abstraction. And I was really interested in um, the idea of pure abstraction. And I ended up taking a sound class in grad school. And I really felt that sound was something that was completely abstract. It was something, at least I felt, was not um, based on something in the physical world. You know, when you talk about painting, abstract painting, um, usually people will talk about, well, this took an this painting had orig originally an image or a landscape or something, and then that was abstracted. But my feeling about sound, at least when I first started doing it, was that it was completely abstract. So that was very, um, seemed very challenging to me or seemed very intangible. So that's why I wanted to uh, explore it more.